Hive on, it's Liam here from A Shot of Wildlife. I'm currently crouching down next to a pond because behind me, in the shallows, one of the UK's natural spectaculars of the year is happening. If you listen closely, you might be able to hear them. Yep, it's the annual migration of common frogs, which makes this the perfect time for me to tell you everything you need to know about them. Let's begin. The common frog is the UK's most widespread amphibian and can be found in any habitat where fresh water is available. Just like in most other frog and toad species, the female grows larger than the male. Females can grow to have a body length of up to 13 centimetres, whereas the males only reach around 9 centimetres. They can vary in colour from light green to dark brown or bright red and sometimes albinos are even spotted in the wild. The legs and body have darker blotches and stripes and there are two lighter coloured, slightly raised ridges running down each side of their backs. During the spring, the males develop bluey coloured chins and dark pads on their thumbs known as nuptial pads. Although common frogs are most noticeable in the spring when they're in their breeding pools, they actually spend most of the year on land. Throughout the summer and autumn, they often hide away throughout the day under rocks and logs or amongst dense leaves and vegetation, but come out at night to find their prey. As adults, they are strictly carnivorous and will eat a wide range of insects, beetles, worms, slugs and snails. During the winter, the females and most males hibernate on land, but as they can breathe through their skin, some males hibernate in the mud at the bottom of ponds. In the early spring as the weather begins to warm, all of the common frogs in an area migrate to pools of fresh water to spawn. There are usually more males than females, so they sometimes end up grappling with one another to grab hold of the females round the waist in a position known as amplexus. This can last from a few hours to several days, and during this time, the males use their nuptial pads not only to grip hold of the females, but also to deposit a hormone onto her skin known as amplexin. This hormone encourages her to release between 1 and 2,000 eggs, which are then fertilised externally. When they are first laid, the entire clump is about the size of a golf ball, but each egg is surrounded by a thin layer of jelly that swells up over the next few hours to create what is commonly recognised as frog spawn. Each male can breed with multiple females in one spring, but every female will only lay eggs once a year, so after spawning, she usually leaves the breeding pool straight away. After being laid, the spawn develops into tadpoles that start their life without any legs and with external gills. The process as the tadpole changes into a froglet is known as metamorphosis, and there is a video on my channel that covers it in great detail. Once the froglets are fully formed, they leave the breeding pond to spend the next two to four years growing before they are old enough to breed themselves. Common frogs have suffered a severe decline over the last 30 years, with several diseases wiping through their populations. They are also extremely susceptible to changes in land use and to predation from cats and various natural predators. If they survive metamorphosis and are not predated, the average lifespan for a common frog is 5 to 10 years. If you want to encourage frogs to your area, creating a pond and making sure that wildlife can get into your garden are the two best things that you can do to help. Well, there we go. That's everything you need to know about the common frog. Now, if you enjoyed this video, check out one of these other two British wildlife videos and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.